Hey everyone, Marielle here. Um, today is day three of our 12 days of manifesting in business. I'm actually um, on my way to the airport right now and um, I was just going to post it and then I said, you know what, let me explain to you how to do day three correctly. Um, so if you've missed day one and day two, quick recap here. So day one is all about burning the old and, um, and you can always go back and look at that video. Um, day two, right we talked course, about creating a, a note for someone that helps you get there to achieving your goal. And today is one of my favorite days because I love to uh, create space. So what you're gonna do is you are literally going to step into that next version of yourself that, uh, that already achieved the goal that you set for yourself and you are going to ask yourself, what does this part of me, this new version of myself, not want to declutter, okay? From either your space, your house, or your life. Here's how I like to think of it. For example, this could either be like something that is cramping your style or that's been bugging you. For example, I had, I remember my bedroom, um, this is a while back, my bedroom uh, curtains for a while had this little cut in the corner and it would bug me and it bugged me and it bugged me. And I just never got around to, to switching them out, especially because they were pretty expensive. And I was like, I really don't want to invest in that. I, you know, they were stuck. I just, it was, but it, it always bugged me. But one day I asked myself, what does this new version of me not tolerate in my environment anymore? We don't realize how clutter really can affect our vibe, right? So that's an example. It can be like a physical uh, thing that you want to declutter or it could also be a digital thing, okay? So maybe, and this is actually another example of mine, um, I once realized that I'm really bad at clearing out my email, okay? So I, I tend to uh, be an email hoarder. <laughs> so, um, but I asked myself this exact same question that you're about to answer for yourself is what do I need, what does this version of me get rid of and not tolerate? So it, it was, the answer was my email list needs to really get cleared up, cleaned up. Um, so, I mean, my daily email, like my Gmail and those th kinds of things and organized. So that's another example, okay? Um, and I will give you a final, I think those examples are good. Yeah, those are good. Um, actually, I'm gonna give you one more. All right, so those are like physical things, right, that you, can, that you can do. But then the other thing that you can also do is ask yourself, what, what does this new version of myself no longer tolerate? And it could be an activity in your schedule. For example, it could be that this new version of yourself doesn't tolerate doing laundry on Tuesdays or she doesn't tolerate uh, doing laundry at all anymore. So you are going to literally... Um, outsource that to either someone else. Maybe you find someone to do it for you for 20 bucks a week. Um, or maybe you give it to one of your kids as a chore. Okay, so the idea here is that you're acting from that next version of yourself. So I am really, really excited for you to do this and I can't wait to, uh, to see what it is that you are letting go of and what it is, how you are decluttering your space, how you're decluttering your life because it's so important and liberating to do this. This is how you act from that next version and how you embody, okay? So um, definitely post below what you are uh, decluttering, letting go of, or what your no more is. And I will see you tomorrow for day four. All right, have an amazing one. Mwah.